Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Laura, again. I am drinking my celery juice, as you should as well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make apple pie at home. This is a recipe I learned from my sister. This is my first time trying it, so I don't know how it's going to come out, but we'll give it a try as always. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe or follow me on Instagram at Laura Vanessa. The only ingredients we are going to need today are cinnamon, coconut oil, of course. Now you don't really have to use coconut oil, you could use butter as well. I prefer to use coconut oil because it is healthier and I think it gives it a better taste. Apples, of course, salt, just a tiny bit, sugar, I would be using brown sugar, but feel free to use any sugar you want to use. Purpose flour, if you have almond flour, even better. I'm using all purpose flour today, but almond flour is a lot healthier. And two eggs. So let's get started. First thing we are going to do is preheat our oven to 350. apples. I'm going to be using an apple peeler for the first time so let's see how that goes. If not I'll just switch over to the knife. I find that the knife is a little bit easier sometimes but whatever works for you. We are going to add one cup of flour to the bowl. <laughs> I use some cinnamon to sweeten in the flour. The amount is your personal preference. I personally like things a little bit on the sweeter side, so I'm gonna use a little bit more cinnamon than maybe the average person would. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of salt. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix two eggs. Not on the flour mix, but separately first. Whisk these eggs a lot. Make sure it's a very creamy texture as much as you can. I put two tablespoons of coconut oil in here. I'm gonna put it in the microwave and melt it because the coconut oil is on a solid state right now and I wanna make it more watery. 10 seconds later, my coconut oil has melted. As you can see, it's very watery. I just put it in a shot glass so you would be able to tell the difference between solid state and when it's watery. So make sure you melt your butter if you're using butter before you put it in the egg mixture. Now we are going to add sugar to our egg mixture. The amount of sugar is also personal preference. So I'm going to make sure that I make it a little bit on the healthier side with less sugar. And feel free to use any sugar you want. But I do recommend that you use brown sugar. Make sure to set aside two apples to use for your apple juice mixture. Now I'm gonna be using my blender to make my apple juice. There you go, a little bit of water and the apples that we cut earlier. Now we are going to add our apple juice mixture into flour mix. 
Now make sure that you don't add the entire apple juice because we can use a little bit of this later if it's dry. So I'm gonna put about half of it. Now I'm gonna add the eggs. And I'm gonna start mixing. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the apple juice because my mixture is a little bit on the dry side. Feel free to add more sugar or cinnamon if you wanna make it a little bit on the sweeter side. Now we're gonna put butter on our base to make sure that our cake doesn't stick. Now we are gonna add the mix into the base. <laughs> Put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I will come back in 20 minutes and check to see if it's ready. 20 minutes have passed and it doesn't look cooked yet. Yeah, I think it needs more time. 10 more minutes later, and I think it's cooked now. Let's give it a check. It is cooked now, officially. Time to take it out. The hardest part of this, taking the cake out of the base and putting it in a plate. I'm sure you guys remember what happens usually in my videos when I do this. There it goes. <laughs> so good. I wanna show you guys. Only one top part of the cake got a little bit stuck to the pan but looks good let's try it out moment of truth it's really hot <laughs> wow this is a really good apple cake achievement I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Laura Vanessa bye guys till next time <laughs>